Okay. To practice listening and speaking one, which is an important subject of the English major, I have prepared the following strategies for taking notes. This is very important because if you are learning to speak or to listen in a better way, you need to take notes in or, and by writing down individual words, phrases or sentences from the audios that you are going to receive. Get your ideas on paper without worrying about grammar, but in the first steps, because you know that grammar is an important aspect in the English language. Your notes don't need to be complete sentences at the beginning. You just need enough information to help you recall all, all the information or the explanations that you hear from the speaker. In listening or speaking, and especially in, in, in English-speaking countries, for example, they use idioms which a group of items are phrases or sentences whose meaning can't be determined from knowing the meaning of individual words. It means that, it, as in Spanish, we have some expresiones idiomáticas that could be a good translation for items. We also have them in English, and I have included an example for you. That test was a piece of cake. In this case, if you are trying to translate this phrase, uh, in this way, it won't have a correct meaning for you. So when you say that the test was a piece of cake, it means that it was really easy for you, that it didn't take too much time for you to answer the questions, and that that is a, an example or a good example of an idiom. Some suggestions for your listening and speaking skills it is important to keep a book of items and phrases you are learning because every day when you are trying to understand native speakers, for example, you will notice that they use this, this kind of phrase. So one of the suggestions I, I have prepared for you is to categorize them by topic or alphabetically. And then it is very important to try to include these items and the meaning in a complete sentence in your writings, in your speaking paragraphs, in your conversations. Another important aspect are syllables. Notice that as we speak, we commonly check the listening and understand what we are trying to say or the message we are trying to transmit. So and a good suggestion is that with your books closed, you have to try to list some of the phrases for checking understanding you know, which means that it is not necessarily to open your books, especially if you are trying to listen in a better way or to improve your listening skills. And for the vocabulary expansions that you have on your speaking text, you can play the audios to practice using, using vocabulary in context, begin with shorter sentences and progress to more complex ones. This is very important because at the beginning, I'm sure you would not have a very, very complete vocabulary, just the basic one in order to improve step by step. So try to start with short sentences and then you can maybe by practicing or by experience, add more words to your vocabulary. This practice must be done weekly. This is, this is a good strategy in order to practice vocabulary and new words, their spelling, their capitalization and punctuation. Why did I include capitalization and punctuation? Because you know that if you are using these words, not only in speaking or not only in when you listen to them, but when you, you try to produce the vocabulary, to produce the language, you need to use correct grammar structures and especially to capitalize them in a correct way. Punctuation is an important factor in the English major because if you don't put a good emphasis on it, it would be something really strange that a person that learned English didn't know how to punctuate a writing paragraph or how to use capitalization in a good and in a clear way. That is the explanation I have prepared for you. Thank you.